The following contest is the Contractual Obligation Rumble! Momentarily, the wrestlers who drew numbers 1 and 2 will enter the ring. Every 30 seconds, another wrestler will join them. Wrestlers are eliminated when they are thrown over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. This will continue until all 30 men have entered and only one is left standing. That winner shall receive a golden opportunity. Now, please welcome wrestler number one. I want it known that I'm doing this under protest. Well, because it's Royal Rumble season, turns out everybody has to do a Royal Rumble match. As if we have to do it, we're calling it a contractual obligation, Rumble. But we are starting off with, I would argue, the best wrestler in the world. And that is Okada Kazutsuka from Aichi Prefecture, Japan. He is the longest, or was, the longest reigning IWGP Heavyweight Champion of all time, is still the leader of chaos, and has a great deal of unfinished business with one switchblade, Jay White, who I guarantee you will not be in this match. The vast majority of the participants entered in because of their high win-loss records here in the AWL, and the Okada Bucks Literally making it rain in the, well, I would say the AWL Arena, but we're obviously not in the AWL Arena, are we? Seriously, this is a terrible idea. Well, the coming of the Rainmaker means an absolutely unfortunate and terrible draw for the next man who you're about to see, who volunteered not only to be in the Contractual Obligation Rumble, but volunteer to be one of the first two participants. I think this is a move that will henceforth be known as mistake number one. Yeah, someone who doesn't even have an entrance video. This is Australian Dynamite, Michael Dunn, a relative rookie of the AWL, re uh, somewhat recent graduate of the AWL Dojo, but whose career has really gone absolutely nowhere. This match is supposed to be him stepping up, grabbing the proverbial brass ring, and making a name for himself in the Animated Wrestling League. Um, good luck with that, you've got Okada. <laughs> no time limit in this match, obviously, and a miss by Okada with a cutter. Give Australian Dynamite Michael Dunn an opportunity for a cutter of his own. No. Belly to belly slam by the former IWGP heavyweight champion. We've set the timer as low as we can every 30 seconds. In fact, we've got wrestler number three, and they are wrestlers here in the AWL, not superstars. Knee DT by Okada. And the modern-day Frankenstein, Project Z, will be joining us. And can somebody please fire the graphics department? They don't seem to know how capital letters work. And an actual offensive move. A, oh, big back body drop to Michael Dunn. He gets an offensive move in on, on Okada, and then all of a sudden he gets dropped right in his face. Trying to take the big man down as wrestler number four about to join us. And the forces of Jigoku expand in the Rumble because 
It's W01. Both he and Project Z work for the diabolical Dr. Jigoku, the mad scientist of professional wrestling. And if one of his people were to get their hands on the golden opportunity, it would be a terrible, terrible thing for the Animated Wrestling League. However, this is all done by win-loss records, so they're in the match. Now, wait a minute. Michael Dunn about to be the first one eliminated, possibly. As in comes the Suplex Master, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Sammy Nix. Michael Dunn saves himself, but gets blindsided by Okada for his troubles. Five men in the Rumble right now. And he's 25 to go. I doubt they'll all be in here at the same time. Punch right to the gut, spin kick possibly to the testicles by W01. And there we go, the first elimination. First, second in, first out, Michael Dunn, Australian Dynamite. Good night. And this is not what I expected, Wrestle Yellow of the Kuro Sentai Wrestling Angel coming in. Okada with the Tombstone Pile Driver. His entire offense is based around the head, neck, and shoulders as a build-up to the Rainmaker Lariat. You see, oh, you see Wyvern, sorry, W01, and Project Z working each other over in the corner. I don't expect that, but a double team trying to eliminate the threat that is Okada, and they do so. Okada out and immediately Wrestle Yellow goes after Sammy next, but you don't see the Suplex Master, who's next? Eruption Solar, the Intercontinental Champion, and Luchador Extraordinaire. Don't know why I'm speaking vague French to the Mexican guy, but who cares? We're back up to five in the ring. Okada just realizing what happened. The first two in, the first two out of the first ever contractual obligation rumble. We have to do this match. We don't want to do this match, but we have absolutely no choice. We've got branding on the screen we don't want to see. We've got a ring we don't want to see and an arena we don't want to be in. Oh, bugger. Wait a minute, possible butcher bomb as Wrestle Blue about to come in. And up seeing Solar possibly unconscious. Spine buster for his trouble as Wrestle Blue of the Puro Sentai, the Wrestle Ranger, going after the modern day Frankenstein saving the match. Or up to Solar, quite possibly. And now Sammy Nixon trouble in the corner. W01 looking forward, looks like, oh, Hurricane Rana over and out. Or up to Solar is gone, just like that. And in comes the fake Liger. Right hand by Russell Blue, then saving himself. Russell Yellow in trouble. Wrestle Blue in no place to help him, but no, Wrestle Yellow hangs on by the skin of his spandex. The fake Liger of Nippon Yokata, the senpai of Nippon Yokata. We haven't seen them in a couple of weeks, not really since the finale of last season. Hat-trick suplex, subtype German by the suplex master, Sammy Nix in the orange shorts. The 10th wrestler in, and Russell Blue is eliminated. we we'll try to keep up with all this. The Scion of Submission, out of his element, Chiba Akagi from Yokohama, Japan, has absolutely no idea what he's going to do in this match, I can tell you right now. Hurricane Rana, Ribbon to Liger, the W01 to Liger. The Dore Corps, these, these control masked, purple skinned zombies. Former AWL Technicos, former AWL Heroes. And wait a minute, low bridge! There goes the modern day Frankenstein! Chiba Akagi with a huge, literally, elimination. Remember the stakes here, ladies and gentlemen. The winner gets a golden opportunity. That means any match, any time, anywhere, any title, any stipulation, Liger out. like money in the bank on steroids. Although I probably shouldn't use the S word in the wrestling show, but still, these are animated characters. They're fine. And a living legend, Matt Classic Sr., the inventor of professional wrestling, 
He's not a big fan of battle royals and thinks they're too flashy of a gimmick match. But for a golden opportunity, he'll, he'll show up. He'll do it. He's going to be averaging five wrestlers in the ring at a time. And Wrestle Yellow just dumped out like a sack of potatoes by Matt Costa Jr. and Sammy Nix. A rematch from the turn. Wait a minute! Senior's out. Matt Classic Senior is out. And oh crap. The demon, Gombaikishi Dark, enters the ring. He's no friend of the forces of Jigoku. Sammy Nix looking to a lariat. And over and out goes Chiba Akagi, the scion of submission. Yeah, he never really had a chance in here. A submission-based wrestler, not exactly good for a battle royal. We have one half of the world's tag team champion, Sammy Nix. We have one of the forces of Jigoku. We have a demon, and now an All-American. Uh-oh, trouble. Sammy Nix, the suplex master trying to hang on. Will Hassan, the Arab-American. Oh, no, out goes one half of the world's tag team champions. We are down to three in the ring. The Arab American dream, Hassan. And somebody's got to get Gamba Hishi Dark out of this ring. It's rare that you can pin Gamba. It's rare that you can make him submit. Uh-oh. Forces of Jigoku growing in strength. The original augment of Dr. Jigoku, the Iron Project, Project Tetsu, damn near snapping the bottom rope in half, and going after his own compatriot. There are no friends in the contractual obligation rumble, and there goes W01. Dom Behishi Dark, can he be eliminated? No, not by Project Tetsu, not at this juncture. The Arab American Dream Hassan taking a nap in the corner, that's good strategy. Kuro Sentai, Wrestle Ranger, member number three, Russell Black. And he is bigger than Project Tetsu. Russell Black, a recent debut here in the AWF. As opposed to everybody else in the ring, who have been here for multiple seasons, and Gapahishi Dark gone thanks to Russell Black. The Arab American Dream in trouble as well. And down he goes, and we're down to the two giants. Big clothesline by Black. Oh, uh, crap. Well, you got to have a couple of jobbers in the Rumble match, don't you? In comes the Monkey Guy of the Leading Men Tag Team. Don't get me started. Really only two real wrestlers in the, in the match right now, and that is Project Tetsu and the Wrestle Black with the Puro Sentai Wrestle Angel. Russell Black, actually the newest debut of the AWL, only showing up here a couple weeks ago. Tiger Mask 2, about time we get a proper hero into this. Picked up and dropped by Russell Black to the Monkey Guy. Tiger Mask surveying the landscape. He knows this is a marathon, not a sprint. And we are getting deep into the roster right now. Converted DDT by the Golden Tiger. Number 18, the former AWL Grand Champion, somewhat disgraced member of the Duray Corps losing the title in his first title defense against reigning champion Kid Canada, who you will not see in this contractual obligation rumble. Kid Canada cashing in a golden opportunity on M05 to become the brand champion. So that is what is at stake here. A very, very good chance to become an AWL brand champion. Sheen Tiger Jr. The student, the Deshi, the protege of Tiger Mask 2, one half of the Tiger Brothers, 
in the ring. Reverse Frankensteiner to the monkey guy as his sensei tries to take out one of the biggest men in the match, Project Z. But the superhero, Wrestle Black, going after one of the forces of evil, the forces of Jigoku. The Dore Corps, the Slave Corps, the zombies, trying to eliminate, oh, M05 able to save himself. The ring starting to fill up with wrestlers right now. Hebeat Sky, the serpent sensation of the Monster Union. Coming into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wrestlers now. Wrestle Black in trouble. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. I, I stand corrected. Now the Tetsu and Hebeat Sky, Wrestle Black making a show for himself in this contractual obligation rumble. They're about two-thirds of the way, uh-oh. Sensei teaching a lesson to the students. There are no allies in the contractual obligation rumble, but there are tag team partners as the Glow Guy joins the Monkey Guy. So we have a tag team unified here in this match. That's the first time that's happened. Sensei and students, School of Hard Knocks in the middle of the ring. And Habit Sky, super kick, he hangs on. Tiger Breaker by Tiger Mask to the Glow Guy. Original Tiger Bomb. M05 in trouble thanks to Hibit Sky in the corner. I will say something for these Rumble matches. There's a lot of action going on. And now the tag team partners. The Glow Guy, the Monkey Guy. These guys should really be teaming up, otherwise they have absolutely no chance in hell of surviving this. Oh, this is not good. Wrestle Black, powerbomb position. The head of Sheen Tiger Jr. Oh, M05 is out, thanks to his own teammate. I believe that was actually Project Tetsu with that elimination. That'll be the second time he's done that. Showing the hierarchy that they augments of much higher rank than the Beret Corps. Thrust kick by the Glow Guy. Russell Black is down. Project Tetsu is down. The Giants out of it for the moment. King Tiger Jr. going after the Glow Guy. And to throw him over the top rope, I don't think he has the leverage to do it. Of course, I could be wrong. No. Power bomb, ball forward power bomb by Project Tetsu. And there, there he goes, the Daglo guy has been eliminated by Sheen Tiger Jr. Russell Black hooking that bottom rope to keep himself in the match. The monkey guy now in trouble. No, the monkey guy saves himself, but these guys still going after Project Tetsu. He's the danger right now, and what the heck was that? Jin Tiger Jr. planting his own sensei. Six men remain in the ring. Big drop kick trying to take out Russell Black. But the threat right now is Project Tetsu. The Iron Project with the augments of Dr. Goku. And there goes Tiger Mask. Eliminated off of a clothesline. And that's the advantage Giants have in this kind of a match. H03, speaking of Giants and speaking of the forces of Dr. Jigoku, the man formerly known as the Japanese destroyer, Hakaisha. The 22nd entrant in the first ever, and hopefully last ever, contractual obligation rumble. Gene Tiger Jr. with, I believe, the second elimination, uh, this time of Kibitsukai. Oh man, if the monkey guy could take out one of the augments, that would be embarrassing. And there goes Sheen Tiger Jr. The power of the Duray Corps on display, the powerhouse of the Duray Corps. And Project Tetsu, the danger gun for a moment, gets blindsided by Russell Black. And the 23, the Spirit Dragon, Shenron. I see him running down the aisle. He is all business tonight. Some 
different ring attire than we're used to from Shenron, but that is still the Spirit Dragon. Uh-oh, Wrestle Black, out, no, Wrestle Black hangs on. Wrestle Black hangs on. And for the third time in the contest, Project Tetsu looking to eliminate one of the Dracor as the dragon flies. And somehow the monkey guy is still in this. I want that to be known. Number 24, the other half of the world's tag team champions, the, the mixed martial artists, the technical wizard Lee Master, back elbow, springboard, handspring back elbow by the spirit dragon. Is the spirit dragon about to be eliminated by the monkey guy? No, he isn't, because the monkey guy is too stupid to throw him out of the ring. And there goes the monkey guy, thanks to the spirit dragon Shenron, his first elimination. And a standing Spanish fly, I think. El Hio Del Majuku, the son of M05. And choke slam! The Spirit Dragon ejected from the ring by Wrestle Black. And in comes the largest door I've ever seen. Project Tetsu desperately trying to eliminate Wrestle Black. I think he realizes Black's the only real threat to him right now. A good takedown. Opal knee strikes right to the head as we await the next participant. El Hio de Majuku hangs on and is getting his teeth. Can he keep hold of that bottom rope? Yes, he can. The superhero of Japan, Aztec Kaiza Neo. The 26th participant, only four remain in the locker room. And there goes Hakaisha, thanks to. Lee Masters of all people, season zero original Lee Masters, the longest serving veteran of the AWL currently in the bout. The winner of this match writes their ticket to the main event. Anytime, anywhere they choose. They're gonna go after the Grand Championship, the Tag Team Championship, anything they want. And Project Tetsu in trouble, bracing himself. Taiga Zadaku from the Unified School of the Tiger style. The tag team partner of Tiger Mask 2, who was eliminated earlier. Flurry of martial arts inspired offense to Wrestle Black. Basically, we've got five Technicos and Project Tetsu right now in the ring. Only a couple more to come out. Must kick by El Hio de Majiku. Big Jerry of the Empire. And Lee Masters now in trouble, taking a moment to celebrate as the Kaiser Neo over the top. And the big British bugger, the, the working class warrior. Toe to toe with Project, with, sorry, with El Hio de Majiku, Project Tetsu on the ropes, literally. Tiger Mask over, and there goes Project Tetsu, thanks to one half of the tag team champions of the world. Okay, I know I didn't want to do this, and I still really don't, but this has become a really good match. Number 29, more of the Duray Corps, DB02. Formerly known as the Doom Bunny, but without Project Tetsu to take advantage, DB02 actually has a chance here. A lucky draw, number 29, only one better. And the large British man, the British super heavyweight in trouble, the two super heavyweights in Russell Black in there. Big Jerry looking for the elimination here, and he gets it, no! Cats have nine lives, so do Tigers, apparently. Black Tiger saving himself. Aztec Kaiser Neal looking for an elimination. He's not going to get it with that. DB02 looking to eliminate the Doom Buddy. And there goes Kaiser. Thanks 
And there goes the Doom Bunny. It's only the big men left in the match. Wrestle Black ensuring that the forces of Dr. Goku will not win the golden opportunity. He's been the real hero of this match. And a gut wrench, he just hit a gut wrench suplex on, 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 on Big Jerry. How the hell did he do that? What a monster. I love that he's on the side of the angels of the Puro Sentai, Resto Ranger. And speaking of which, here comes the leader of the team, Resto Red Dog. These are the final five, ladies and gentlemen. Big Jerry, the Technical Wizard Lee Masters, Russell Red, Russell Black, and Black Tiger Suplex from Taiga Zadaku. Right now, it's all about the eliminations. Still too many men in the ring for comfort for any of these guys. Oh, look at this, Russell Red into, oh! Military press slam for Wrestle Red. Wrestle Black has been in the ring the longest, along with Lee Masters, a very close second. Oh, this is not good. Big Jerry, the working class warrior with an easy elimination. Let's take a look at that on the replay. All the way down to the floor. We are down to four. Belly to belly slam. Taiga Zadaku. Russell Red, Russell Black, and the Empire's Big Jerry. Big Jerry, really a nice guy, just worked for a jackass. Oh, wait a minute, reversal. Big Jerry eliminated. The super heavyweight just shot over the top rope of the clothesline from Russell Black, and Russell Red saying, yeah, one of us is going to win this. We're down to the final three. Huge choke slam. Somehow by Taiga Zadaku. And the black, through the black school of the Tiger style. Wrestle Red, Wrestle Black, I have no doubt. All the Wrestle Rangers had an agreement going into this match. It is every man for himself and it gets down to the end of it. Of course, Wrestle Pink not able to participate because this game is still sexist as hell. We're gonna get down this. Yes, and that's it. Wrestle Black eliminated by his own boss, by his own leader. And now we are down to the final two. DDT counter! DDT counter, Taiga Zadaku! Taiga Zadaku! The Taiga Mas Dabudu! Taiga Suplex, there's no pinfalls in this match. No need to hold for a bridge. Less energy you have to expend. Trying to body slam him out of the ring, but no, Russell Red comes back. It's gonna be Red or Dark. He neck and head control, are we gonna see it? Tries to, yes, Russell Red in control. Tries to throw his opponent out of the ring. He does it, and no! Yet again for about the fourth time in the match, Tiger holds on, but he's only got one hand on the rope. No, he's gone! We have a winner! And a bulwark against the forces of evil. Let's take a look at just some of that action. That was that huge elimination of Lee Masters. Unbelievable choke slam by Tiger Zadaku. We may have another company's branding all over this, but this is was still a much better match than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Here is your winner, and the bearer of a golden opportunity, WrestleMania! Well, he may not be going to WrestleMania, but he's got something a hell of a lot better, the chance to make his own destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Animated Wrestling League. Thanks for watching. Put it in. Kimari da.